because of John Wick's actions, my dad's been killed and I have taken the mantle and I'm now kind of the queen of the Romas. And I found it very interesting actually because I started studying a lot about Roma culture before I started this job. And it's, it's a very patriarchal society. So to kind of be the alpha of that and a woman, um, yeah, she's, she's got a big set of ovaries basically and she you know knows how to wield her power. I think they are both such lovely men. I met Chad over Zoom and he was like, Matt, I've had your picture on my wall for ages. And I was like, he, he just seemed so lovely. And I was like, okay. And then I ended and I was like, was that an audition? I don't know if that was an audition. Okay. And then I had another Zoom conversation when I was like, obviously I'm in to do this kind of franchise. It's amazing. And again, he was just so lovely. And once I arrived, he took me everywhere. He welcomed me. Both of them welcomed me so warmly into the John Wick family. He showed me the dogs, the stunt rooms, the studios. And then we sat down and we discussed it and we read through it with the writer. And I think we kind of got to an, a bit of an idea of how, the, the tone of how things were going to be. I think the way Chad works is like, right, this time, try and do the whole take in one way rather than like modulating it as you go. He'll be like, right, this one, very, very serious. This one kind of jokey and funny. And I kind of quite like it because you can stay on kind of one level as an actor for one take and you know you're like right that's what I'm doing okay I felt very powerful it felt very but at the same time even though I felt powerful I, one of the notes that Chad gave me is that she's actually the, the scene is actually her kind of um flitting between being a leader and a daughter so she and also it's even though he's on trial he says something to me that's very interesting that actually she's on trial because this is her first big decision as Alpha after her dad's died. And so how, that's why, I mean, I hope it translates, but I'm trying to look at everyone's reactions a lot. I hope that makes it into the edit. I'm um, just kind of gauging, okay, um, you know, am I gonna lose power? Am I gonna lose face in this situation? Um, so it was, it, it felt bad, but at the same time it felt actually, I, pro I, I, th I felt as a character that I was a bit scared as well because I can't get this wrong in front of my crew. He's coming over because he needs to get a crest from the family to be invited back into the family clan so we can um, support his uh, challenge to the marquee. I really love the stunt dogs. I went to meet them. They are amazing. I did not know that they, because I, obviously I asked them, I saw John Wick 3 and I was like, those dogs are, in, are literally incredible. And they told me, you know, the way they do it is with this kind of um, neon green, um, kind of bit that they put on them, so that's why on set we're not allowed to wear green because they've literally been trained to attack neon green. Yeah, oh, he's lovely. I've, I've only met him like a couple of times and kind of hung out with him a bit, but his look is fantastic. I mean, he's just, his face tattoos and his hair and he, yeah, he's got a very big presence. That's what I liked. I, I felt, I, I immediately liked the way that Chad does stuff. He's like, right, that character, that this guy should play it, or this girl, woman should play it, or, and that, that kind of just confidence that you'll do the job well, rather than having to go through a very long, arduous audition process. He was like, I know that you have to be this person. And he did the same with, with Sven, so thank you, Chad. <laughs>